part of the deal with Rogan is he is, if anybody is too big to be canceled, it's probably Rogan, yeah. and they're doing their darndest to sure. actually get him canceled. Was he like 12 million followers, I think? Something like yes. That? More listeners per month. Yeah, any anybody. of the primetime yeah. sure. uh, talk yeah. shows, Tucker, any. Yeah, yeah, and and that's one reason, you know, they hate him. The establishment hates him because mm-hmm. he's so much better at what they claim to do yeah. than they are. Uh, because they don't do what they claim to and do. And he's usually willing to talk about any subject and no yes. subject's off limits. And yet, to some tribes, I guess he is off limits, right? <laughs> it <laughs> opens to different perspectives, it too. Does. He yeah. doesn't come in. Now, he's, Joey brought this up. We'll talk about this later. I mean, he's got avowed views some of which we agree with some of which we don't he's pretty much a socialist Mm -hmm. um but he's willing to listen to the other side Mm -hmm. yeah and for that he's being stoned um so (laughs) the thing that got us thinking about this earlier today though was now his old friend the rock has come out dwayne the rock johnson sure uh who is my son's favorite actor and i mean i've i I generally like like the rock i generally like him uh, and, you know, he flirted back in the, I think it was back in the Bush years, he flirted with being a Republican a little bit. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, I don't. It must have been a short flirtation. It was, <laughs> you know, it was just a little bit out there. But he has increasingly kind of held his finger up to the wind to try to figure out where public opinion is. Yeah, and sure. now he has turned on Rogan as well. He yes. had stood up for Rogan, and now he's turned on him. It, yeah. Until the N-word... Until the N-word controversy. controversy. Yes. So, yeah. bri- so we've got that. We've got where The Rock announced this on Twitter, because, of course, we announce these things on Twitter now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you so much for this. Uh, so anyway, The Rock is responding to someone who was pointing out Rogan's use of the N-word in the past. Thank you so much for this. I hear you as well as everyone here 100%. I was not aware of his N-word use prior to my uh, comments. But now I've become educated to his complete narrative. Learning moment for me. Mahalo, brother, and have a great and productive weekend, DJ. (laughs) Mahalo, brother. (laughs) Mahalo, Joey. There's something, I think you pointed this out earlier, there's something that very clearly Mm -hmm. sticks out in that tweet that's wrong. If you want to show it again really quick, just so I can point it out to the viewers. The part where he says, I've become educated educated to the complete narrative it's exactly the opposite, opposite. of that he the- became educated to little snippets of things that rogan said taken out of context where he was yeah, quoting a, people a narrative it's, that's decades old it's decades Pardon old it's, sure. it's not like he was ch- said it on his show last week so that is just blatantly false so the rock has and yeah. i'm sure he just doesn't care to do any more investigating he's just listening to whatever the mob says because that tends to be the way things go sure. but that part of that do, tweet is just blatantly wrong do you think paul do you think he just doesn't bother doing any more research or do you think he's scared to do any more mm. i you know the the big challenge with tribalism is you're constantly looking at what tribe is more vocal mm. at any particular moment right yeah. right and which one's uh, more joe rogan yeah you? which one's more dangerous at yes. the given moment yeah. and not only does joe rogan and others have to be woke today but we have to be retroactively woke mm. to the past right right so we yes. have to kind of figure out how to clean up our non-woke statements from decades ago mm. and fit him into this narrative and apologize. But I think, you know, The Rock is doing what the culture has taught us to do, mm. and that is is to learn to play whack-a-mole based on what's happening at the particular time. The thing, it's, I've said it on here before, it's Douglas Murray's thing. It, we now apologize for things that were perfectly fine five minutes ago. Of course. Yes. And the N-word wasn't fine five minutes ago, but a lot of things were fine five minutes ago, yeah. and mm-hmm. the and the left has weaponized those as bludgeons. And I don't, e- Joey. Do you think hmm. when we think about cancel culture and when we think about uh, the way the trans movement has weaponized um, elements of itself, do you think the left actually believes the stuff they're saying, or are they just <laughs> weaponizing uh, narrative? No, I think maybe. 10 years ago, they believed what they were saying. Mm. Uh, or, or sorry, yeah. actually, I think 10 years ago, maybe they're weaponizing the narrative. Yeah, yeah. Now, I think they completely believe what they're saying. I think they live in an alternate reality. They they have completely abandoned mm. any element of truth. 
you know, sometimes we talk about here, we, we have truth on our side. Yeah. We believe in the truth, the fundamental truth. The left that doesn't even recognize that truth, doesn't live in that same reality. And I think they completely 100% believe in what they're saying at mm. this point because they, they, don't, they don't see actual truth. It doesn't exist for them anymore. Indeed. Can you imagine Jesus coming to the world today and saying, I am the way and the truth mm. and the life? And how he'd be vilified for that statement. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but yet yeah. we're his representatives here today, and we are saying that in a sense, and we are saying that publicly. And yet, uh, again, we get back to what what's what's in the moment. Mm -hmm. But I think that you know the faith, the um, Christianity, the exploration, and the the digging into truth is going to help us to uh, to stick out. But mm. of course, we're going to be targeted.